Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my lab's playlist. We have been talking about the urine for a long time. We talked about urine electrophoresis, beta-2 microglobulin, Benz-Jones proteins, urine uric acid, urine chloride, urine potassium, and urinalysis or urine analysis. Urinalysis includes many steps. Some of them are just done by your naked eye, which is the color and the appearance of the urine. Others require an osmometer, such as urine osmolality. Others could be performed by the good old litmus paper test, such as the urine pH. Others require you to look under the microscope, such as urine casts. What do you mean by casts? I mean blocks. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. So what's the basic idea behind urine casts? Okay, the cast here means a block. Think of them as ice cubes. If I show you an ice cube like this, all right, that's the ice cube, but I did not show you the container that's in my freezer. And then I asked you a question. Hey, if this is the shape of the ice cube, can you guess from this shape, the shape of the container in my freezer? You'll say, of course it has cubes in it, because now I see a cube. When you pour water, a fluid, into a container, it's gonna take the shape of the container. It's called physics. So now I know that your ice container is shaped like cubes by the same token. If I see these elongated shapes in the urine, what do you think they look like? Oh, they look like your kidney tubules. Bingo! When you see blocks, i.e. casts in the urine, you know that whatever this is, it's coming from the kidney tubule. Do not blame it on the bladder. Do not blame it on the urethra. This is the shape of the tubules. Whatever is happening is coming from the tubules. If this is a disease, the disease is in the kidney, particularly in the tubules. That's why we look at urine casts. And we have talked about urine casts briefly before in my video on microscopic examination of the urine. Urine casts could be hyaline, no cells, or cellular. They do have cells, including red blood cells, white blood cells, and others. So don't forget this distinction. Hyaline or proteinaceous versus cellular. Normal urine should not have red blood cells or white blood cells in any significant amount. But if I have many red blood cells in the urine and the problem is in the tubule, can we see red blood cell casts? Yes. If I have tons of white blood cells in the urine because of a problem in my tubule, would we see white blood cell casts? Yes. But what if the problem was in the bladder? Would you see casts? No. I hope you have watched my previous video on hematuria. Because in that video, I've told you that nephritic syndrome comes from itis, inflammation, the kidney is inflamed and shedding tears of blood. If the problem is in the kidney, we will see red blood cell casts and red blood cells in the urine. What are the nephritic syndromes again? Acute post-tryptococcal glomerulonephritis, rapidly progressive or crescentric glomerulonephritis, IgA nephropathy, Alpert syndrome, diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis, and membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. Itis, itis, inflammation, redness, hotness, swelling, pain, loss of function, ruber, calor, tumor, dollar, functional lesse. The kidney is inflamed and shedding tears of blood. How do I know that this is actual blood, not a pigment, not myoglobin? Look under the microscope. If you see actual red blood cells, then this is real blood. This is a true hematuria. Now, where is that blood coming from? If you see casts, blame the kidney. If you see no casts, it's probably coming from below the kidney, such as urinary bladder, or urethra. Two things in the urine can point to the kidney and blame the disease on the kidney, not on any other organ. And these include the casts and dysmorphic red blood cells. Casts are usually tubular, while dysmorphic red blood cells are usually glomerular, but not always. And of course, real life is way more complicated than this. What are the causes of hematuria? We've talked about all of this before. Which one of these will have casts? If the problem is in the tubule, I will have casts. How about this one? Yeah, it can have red blood cell casts. How about this one? If the tumor is in the kidney, yes, we'll see casts. If the tumor is in the bladder, no. How about trauma to the kidney? Yes, we'll see casts. Bladder or urethra? No, you'll not. Kidney stones? Yeah, if they enter my kidney, yeah, I can see casts. How about interstitial nephritis? Oh, nephron, kidney. Yes, I can see casts here. I can see casts here. I can see casts here. You get the idea. Next, let's review white blood cell casts. 
First, let's talk about white blood cells. If you see tons of white blood cells in the urine, this is urinary tract infection. If you see lots of white blood cells in the urine with casts, blame the tubules, such as pyelonephritis, interstitial nephritis, glomerular nephritis, lupus nephritis. Nephron means kidney. But what if I see lots of white blood cells in the urine but no casts? Then it's probably coming from below the kidney, such as a problem in the urinary bladder or a problem in the urethra. Infection of the bladder is called cystitis. Infection in the urethra is called urethritis. How can we tell the difference between cystitis and urethritis? Please refer to my previous video on pyuria. After pyuria, what's the next step? Urine culture. Give me that clean catch midstream urine sample. Make sure to cover it very quickly with a cap. Send it to the lab quickly. The sample is gotta be fresh and non-contaminated. Clean catch. Now to today's topic, urine casts. Again, they are hyaline, made of proteins, not cellular. And then the cellular ones are made of cells. Could be red blood cells, could be white blood cells, could be epithelial cells, could be waxy, which could be hyaline or cellular, by the way. Waxies are kind of weird. Could be fatty, because remember, every cell in your body has a cell membrane, which is lipid by layer. So when you see fat in the urine, it means that cells are dying, disintegrating, and you'll see fat. Or the cellular cast could be granular in nature, when the cells disintegrate, forming granules within a white blood cell cast or within epithelial cast. In other words, it's not cut and dry, they can overlap. Let's start with definition of urine casts. Just remember my word, blocks. They are rectangular clumps. In which location are they made? In the kidney. Can you be specific? In the tubules of the kidney. Can you be more specific? In the distal tubule and the collecting tubules and collecting ducts. And then what? They will show up in the urine which points towards the kidney as the source of the cast. For me to see casts in the urine, there is probably some degree of stasis of, or proteinuria. The greater the stasis and proteinuria, the greater the likelihood of finding casts in the urine. And by the way, you need a microscope to look at them. Do doctors and pathologists and lab scientists examine the urine under the microscope? Yeah, we examine stool too. And for tropical diseases, we might be staring at the wing of a freaking fly or at the bothrium of the diphilobothrium latum. Bothrium means a sucker, in case you were wondering. Hyaline casts, proteinaceous casts, they are made of proteins. What kind of proteins? The most important one is the TAM horsefold protein or uromodulin, which will be discussed in a later video in this lab's playlist. Hyaline casts, what does the word hyaline mean? Clear. They are so clear that you might not be able to see them in the beginning. To appreciate them, please dim the light of the condenser of your microscope. If you don't know where the condenser of the microscope is, there is no hope for you. These are clumps of proteins. That's why we call them proteinaceous casts. Significance. They could be physiological or pathological. Physiological. You can see them in prolonged standing. This is called orthostatic proteinuria. So, neurosurgeons, cardiothoracic surgeons, police officers, security guards, chefs, Ushers, anyone who stands for a long period of time can have some proteins in the urine. That's not a disease. Or strenuous exercise or stress. All of these can lead to protein in the urine and hyaline proteinaceous casts in the urine. These are not diseases. Or hyaline casts could be seen in disease including proteinuria, that's a bad kidney, letting protein in the urine, and chronic kidney disease. That's it for the hyaline cast. Next, cellular cast. I've just told you about red blood cells. Again, normally there should be no red blood cell cast in the urine. If you see them, blame the kidney, particularly the tubules, such as all of these conditions. Or white blood cell cast. Again, they're always pathological. They point to inflammation or infection in the tubule, not the bladder or the urethra. Next, we have epithelial casts. What's that? These are the epithelial cells that line the tubules of your kidney. If I see tons of them, this could mean tubular damage. What can damage your tubules? heavy metal poisoning. Overdosing on vitamins is not ideal, but most patients will make it. However, overdosing on minerals or on heavy metals, i.e. heavy metal toxicity, 
can destroy your tubules. What else can damage my kidney? Eclampsia and preeclampsia with severe features and anything that destroys the tubule. And here I recommend that you go study the topic of renal tubular acidosis because it has gazillion causes of renal tubular damage. Next, fatty casts. Again, your cells are made of lipid bilayer, that's fat, phospholipid. These cells will disquamate, shedding the lipid. These lipid droplets might get incorporated into proteins and you'll see fatty casts in the urine. Seen in cases of nephrotic syndrome, fat emboli, mercury poisoning, and some cases of glomerulonephritis. But you said that glomerulonephritis will give me red blood cell cast. Yes, they can also give you white blood cell cast and fatty cast. It's not cut and dry. And as a lovely Canadian psychologist might say, well, it's complicated, you know? Life is hard. Life is suffering, you bloody monster. How about granular casts? When the cells die and disintegrate, making granules within white blood cell casts or within epithelial casts, these granules can be seen under the microscope called granular casts. Could be physiological, exercise and stress, could be pathological. Acute tubular necrosis, which is part of acute kidney injury or acute renal failure. And here is a very important buzzword for your exam. Muddy brown granular casts. Muddy brown granular casts equals acute tubular necrosis. What's damaging my tubules? It could be toxic or hypoxic. Toxic such as medications, heavy metal poisoning. Hypoxic means hypoperfusion of the kidney. I call them hypoxic or toxic. Your textbook will say ischemic or nephrotoxic. It's the same thing. Mine is easier. Also, UTIs, glomerulonephritis again, and nephrosclerosis can lead to granular cast formation in the urine. How about waxy casts? These are weird. Sometimes they are hyaline, sometimes they are cellular, sometimes they are a mix. You can see them in chronic kidney disease, which can be caused by diabetes or hypertension. So many of these patients will have diabetes and or hypertension. Also, glomerulonephritis can give us waxy casts. Some antibiotics can damage your kidney. These include tetracyclines, aminoglycosides, even freaking penicillin. And don't get me started on amphotericin B. You can learn about the antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications by downloading my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. If you want more topics on urology, such as low implantation of the ureter, epispadius versus hypospadius, renal transplant, plant rejection, testicular torsion, acute epididymitis, and much more, download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. And if you want to learn about preeclampsia and eclampsia, I have a separate course on this called OBGYN. You can also find it on my website. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.